When you think of the Northern Plains, this may be an image that comes to your mind. But from the frost emerges quite another image. So also from a renovated abandoned building in downtown Fargo emerged the Plains Art Museum. The Plains Art Museum's decision to renovate an abandoned warehouse and occupy a deserted area of downtown Fargo ushered in a renaissance and revitalization creating a destination art experience for both regional and national events. When you enter the plains, you feel naturally warm. The original wood floors and beams, coupled with the natural light, envelop you in comfort as you move through the facility. The modern surroundings mirror the mission of the plains to focus on modern and contemporary art. The large open concept, coupled with the state-of-the-art climate-controlled galleries, provide a welcoming atmosphere under which the museum's mission reverberates. The mission of the Plains Art Museum is to connect art, artists, and audiences to foster creative, resilient, and welcoming communities. Another focus of the museum is to foster awareness of social and community issues, to call attention to the loss of habitat and colony collapse disease affecting the American honeybee, the museum kicked off one of its Defiant Gardens projects with the Honey Happenings and Buzz Lab event. In the summer of 2014, the Plains will sponsor 12 paid internships for high school students to help build a pollinator garden on the museum's grounds. The museum collaborated with area entities to educate, engage, and inform the community about the Buzz Lab project. The event ran for two hours and was held in the first floor landfilled atrium. Samples of honey made when the bees pollinated different flowers was available to taste. The exhibits allowed the attendees to observe the bees at a more comfortable distance than possible in nature. Experts explained best practices for gardening to provide habitat for bees. New forms of art were explored using pollinator boards that producers use for leaf cutter bees. Printmakers demonstrated how the logo was made. Food co-ops and seed banks discussed how organic foods and seeds are beneficial. Connections were made under the sculpture Burst by Elizabeth Simonson. The next event I observed was also connected to the Buzz Lab event. Students were invited for a free printmaking workshop. The students explored using food to make art through printmaking. They learned the history and practical use of the Japanese fish printing technique called gyotaku. The Plains is ensuring for future audiences and museum supporters by contracting with the Fargo Public Schools to provide a clay experience on site for students in grades K through 5 from 12 of its elementary schools. The head of the Art Education Department and the Director of Youth Programs work closely with the schools to coordinate the lessons. Students are given a gallery talk by one of 15 to 20 on-call teaching artists. After a tour through the gallery, the students then move through the B-Flight mosaic hallway to the clay studio. 
The instruction at the Clay Studio is facilitated by two teaching artists and two school staff members. The art making now becomes a tradition. Students look forward to returning every year to create the project assigned for each grade. The Plains operates with public grants, proceeds from charitable gaming, membership dues, private donors, collaborations with profit and nonprofit entities, admissions, facilities rental, restaurant and store receipts, and fundraising events. It provides art education programming for all ages and cutting-edge art exhibitions. It truly is a mighty mini Museum of Modern Art on the Plains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.